Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's food haul. So this week our food haul is from Waitrose and it's quite a big one, it was well over £100 actually. Waitrose is a bit more expensive but we also just did buy quite a lot and there are some things which you'll see which are kind of more expensive which did bump the price up. So yeah, it's a big weekly shop for us. As usual, it's for a family of three, if you don't know already. So it's me, my husband, and our two, nearly three-year-old son as well. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. If you like this kind of thing, I post food hauls every Friday, so make sure you are subscribed. I also post lots of other videos as well. But without further ado, let's get into the food haul. So this is our food haul, and I'm filming this the day after it came, which is quite early for me, actually. So not too much has been kind of used. They did send us this paper, which even though it says weekend, as I said, it came on a Thursday. So, yeah, I might have a little flip through that later. And then to get it out of the way, because it's rather big, we've just got some toilet rolls there, a pack of nine, um, and just their own make. So breakfast sort of cereals, we've got two lots of this porridge, just because we can't always find this one and also we like to get the organic one. So we've got two there and we've also got a box of waitresses own make of Weetabix, which are fine. We've got quite a lot of bread, as you can see. So we've got this really big loaf. This is very nice bread. So it's to make Jason's. Um, and this is, it's not like pure sourdough. It's like a white loaf with sourdough, but it's really nice. Definitely prefer it in toast. It makes really, really nice toast. Um, we've got some paninis. So we can have that for lunch one day next week, probably with like, I usually have it with corn ham and cheese in it. And that tastes good. We've got another Jason's loaf, which is also sourdough. This is a grains and seeds one. So that's another, it's really a really nice make, actually. I don't know if it's just waitress that do it, I think. Um, and then we've got two of these because they're quite small. They're half loaves. I always get this from waitress. This is just a whole milk seeded half bloomer. So yeah, we've got two of those. So if you're new, by the way, we do do food hauls like over a few different shops. We don't shop in waitress all the time and definitely not as much as we used to because it is a bit more expensive um but it is quite nice to do a shop here every so often um i know it's a bit random over there but we've got a big lot of kitchen roll there so snacks again i'd say a decent amount we've got two lots of these hippies crisps which we pretty much always get whenever we can because they're made from chickpeas and this is a big bag like you know like a grab bag of harvest snaps um, we've got the sweet chili flavor and they are made of lentils oh no sorry we've got three lots <laughs> one two three yeah i forgot about that one then we have some pasta here just the organic carrot and herbs one and that ties in there sorry this has been opened already it looks like quite a lot have gone already um but arthur quite likes these these are chickpea and lentil crackers so they're quite like plain if you're not you know they taste very plain but you know you can put like a topping on them and yeah they're pretty good and they're obviously quite nutritious as well we've just got some plain oat cakes there we've got dove's farm which is digestive biscuits we've got this chocolate i don't know if you've ever had this tony's chocolate but it's really really nice chocolate then we've got these eight bars these were a substitute we wanted the chocolate and orange ones Matt doesn't really like these, but I do. Not as much as the other ones, but I thought I would just keep it anyway, just so that I've got some. So yeah, apple and cinnamon bars. We've also got the organics one, which will be for Arthur, because otherwise he wouldn't have any other bars, and he does really like them. These biscuits, we actually got two packs. Uh, again, just because we're in Waitrose, they are like my favourite biscuit. They're really, really nice. Um, yeah, they're gorgeous. We've got two lots of those. So I think that is all the snacks. And then, yeah, there's just a few sort of like random bits to fit here. Sorry, so yeah, there's a kitchen roll. And I've also got some sandwich towels. So this did bump the price up because they're like two pounds something. I've actually got another box as well. So I got six boxes. So yeah, that was like probably, I don't know, 13, 14 pounds. Yeah, it must have been like 14 pounds or so for all of those. So obviously that did increase the price a lot. But basically we had a voucher for Waitrose, which did give us money off. So um, we thought we may as well just like, I think we had to spend so much over a hundred pounds. So that's why. 
Um, so anyway, yeah, we've got that, we've got that big kitchen roll, we've got brown sauce hiding there, just a reduced salt and sugar one. We've got a few tins here, so we've got four baked beans, just the essential waitress ones. We've got some mango chutney, which is for me. We've got some smooth almond butter. Pippin nut is a really nice make. Um, almond butter is more expensive than peanut butter, and it always comes in a smaller jar, but it is really good. It has got like just a slightly different taste to peanut. Like, I don't know, but it's, yeah, it's nice. Um, then we've got two chopped tomatoes. We've got one a coconut cream um, for a curry, and then also just a big passata. We've got a toothpaste and then two of their baby wipes. And we've also got this hand wash here. My hands are just absolutely atrocious at the moment. They're like really red and very sore. Um, I do, I try and put on hand cream, but I'm not that good at remembering. Um, but I think it's because our dishwasher's broken. So we're washing up a lot by hand at the moment. I have got gloves, but I keep not putting them on um so yeah but yeah anyway what i'm trying to say is this hand wash because it's kind of more plant-based i'm hoping it might be a little bit kinder to the hands i don't know anyway we needed some so we've got that then fruit and vegetables we've got potatoes we've got a broccoli we've got a cabbage there um and some red onions we've got tomatoes which you always get and also some mushrooms and a cucumber too and then fruit wise, we've got some apples. We've got this massive palette of grapes of red, green and black, which Arthur loves having all the different colours. So that's really good. We did have a punnet of raspberries, but we still have some left. Um, but I didn't get it just because there's not met that many left. But yeah, we did buy raspberries too. Um, and then also quite a lot of bananas. And then fridge and frozen. We've got some corn slices. As I said, I will have this in a panini at some point for lunch. And Arthur might have like the odd one, you know, at lunchtime. We've got quite a lot of eggs. So we've got 18 all together and we've got two organic and one just not organic. Um, just because three organic would be a bit more expensive. So we just thought we'd have like one not. <laughs> And then we've got some soup. So I, I think we actually meant to get carrot and coriander soup, but we got this instead. But I don't know. It might be quite nice. I don't know how spicy it is. If it's too spicy, Arthur won't like it. He doesn't mind a bit of spice, but not like too much. But yeah, we'll see what that's like anyway. Um, we've got some yogurts there. They didn't have any soy yogurt for me this time, unfortunately. But we did get that for Matt and Arthur. We've got quite a lot of milk as usual. So we've just got the organic dairy milk there and oat milk and a rude health milk i think i've got quite a lot left of a cocoa milk too then i've got this so when i buy tofu i usually buy it plain um it's like pre-drained um but it's quite plain i always find it difficult to cook i sometimes even cook it and it's still a bit crispy and i try to marinate it but it's just it's never amazing but i have had this before and it's ready to eat or you can cook it and it's just really nice. It's just, it's very soft, but it's very flavorful, um, if that's a word. So, yeah, I just thought I'd get it. I haven't got it before because I don't know. In my head, I was thinking it's really high in salt, but actually, it's not too bad. Um, so, Arthur does usually like this kind of thing when I've bought like pieces like this. So, hopefully, he will like that because he doesn't love the, uh, the tofu that I do. So, yeah, we've got that. So, that will be a meal this week, maybe with noodles or something like that, um, or maybe with rice. And then like chuck a few vegetables in there as well. Um, we have got some more butter. We've got hummus. We've got some fluffles as well. That is just to like have as a snack really. Because um, we don't tend to buy them that often anymore. We were buying them a lot. But then we just haven't. So yeah we thought we'd get them. Um, and Matt has some fish. And he also has some chicken. So for one meal. I think I said already we're going to have curry. So he will use his chicken. I've still got some like mints and chunks in the freezer, so I'll just use that in my curry. When he has fish, I've still got, um, you might have saw my last haul, corn. I think it's like chicken and bacon lettuce or something like that. I don't know what it is. But yeah, so we'll have that. He'll have his fish, I expect. And then we'll have that with some sort of like mashed potato and peas, something maybe, I'd imagine. Um, we've also got these. So... Waitress didn't have any burgers. I think they tried to substitute ones, but they weren't ones we wanted. So got these from Co-op. I actually had them last night, and they're really, really nice. I like them as well. So yeah, from Co-op, they're vegan. Um, yeah, they tasted really good. So I had that with 
potatoes and vegetables and gravy so it was that kind of meal that i had those with and then this obviously isn't from waitrose this is from ikea they're vegetable balls now these are pretty good actually we haven't had them for ages but my mum went to ikea so i asked her to pick these up for me they're quite expensive but it is a big bag i think it was like just under five pounds but we will have these with spaghetti and you know kind of like a spaghetti bolognese sort of thing um but yeah we'll have it in like a passata chopped tomatoes red onions herbs and garlic that kind of sauce with these and spaghetti we might even have like some of these and then have a bit of mince or lentils in with the sauce as well um so yeah it's just something a bit different and then finally from waitrose we just got some soy mint the linda mccartney one so that's everything that we've got so yes meal wise like i said we have like vegetables and gravy meal we have a spaghetti meal we've got like a kind of a simple meal you know fish and i've got my corn thing um the potatoes and peas um we're gonna have a curry which is for that there um i think we probably will have an omelette this week as well and we tend to have omelettes like fairly plain um last time we had one we did have a sausage with it which tasted really nice i think we might have that again um you know just have like an omelette a sausage potatoes and peas i don't know if that's random i know some sometimes i wonder if my meals are a bit random to other people but anyway that's kind of the meal plan and meal ideas that we have for this week um and yeah that's everything that we have got in waitrose i've had to stand here now because the sun is kind of like coming it's fairly early morning usually i film this later on at night and it's like really dark so for once it's not but the sunlight is here yeah um so anyway yes i really hope that you enjoyed seeing our waitrose food haul please don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy it to make sure that you don't miss any future videos from me but for now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.